late at night <laughs> And I'm driving <laughs> on yeah. Slightly asleep And I don't know where the last two miles have gone And the voices echo in my head Memories need to be seen Feels like the future The future that it would always be Well, hello, my fine feathered friends. How are you doing today? Give me a break. Car alarm always going off as soon as I start recording. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Pretty annoying. Anyways, I popped in over here to one of my favorite stores. The Hobby Lobby. Woo-hoo. And if you know me, you know I like to decorate. Hold on, I gotta close these doors. I'm getting a little ridiculous. So I popped into the Hobby Lobby because I'm in the market for some new fixtures for my cabinet here. Now, a long time ago, I replaced the metal one that was up here with this beautiful vintage antique looking jobby. And I've been wanting to replace these for a while too. So I popped into the Hobby Lobby and I found this beautiful job. Look at that. Fine aged patina look of like greening copper. So we're gonna pop these job one here and I got a second one going right there. And if you know anything about my decorating style, it tends to be a little bit eclectic one might say. <laughs> I also found these cool little things. They're like little license plate pieces that you can piece together to spell whatever you want. And I've seen these at Hobby Lobby every time I go in there and I look for any combination of letters or numbers that could spell anything relevant to me and they're always missing a crucial letter or number. But I managed to get my initials out of it. They didn't have an E, so I couldn't get Greg. But I got GPK, that's me, Gregory Paul Kruger. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to my living room. We're decorating today. I got this cool little, I don't know what you call it. Just like a little, you hang it on the wall and put stuff in it, a little wall holder. I'm gonna put that down right here, I do believe. That looks like a good spot for it. And I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but it's a nice option to have something like that, especially when I'm out camping and I have the door open. Then I can put little doodads, knickknacks, trinkets, tchotchkes, and who's a what's it's. Last but not least, what cool van build would be complete without a pair of these? Yeah, that's right. I got me some dangling dice. Going to put those up here on the old rear view mirror and see how long they last up there before they get super annoying. Hobby Lobby is that like, almost all the time there's a sale, like 30% off of all wall hangings, you know, 50% off of fabric. <laughs> so when you're walking around there, you're going, oh, I start doing the deductions in your mind. You're like, oh, I could buy two of those for the price of one. So always a lot of good finds, good deals, super cool decorating stuff and hobbyist stuff in there as well. I'm not much of a hobbyist, unless we're talking about flying drones. And speaking of flying drones, well, I made a whole video about it the other day that my drone, the Mavic Mini, was recovered uh, in Red Rock Canyon on a high up cliff by a hiker. It has been delivered to my parents' house, and I'm going to go pick that up here in a couple of minutes. Uh, probably, uh, you know, get into a little business with the Wi-Fi and stuff at their house. but. That's super cool. I swear he just mailed it out a couple days ago. Um, I believe off the top of my head, his name is Rick. Rick, thank you so much. I can't wait to take a look at it, see what condition it's in. He said just one of the props is uh, busted. <laughs> I can't wait to get that back in my arsenal again. Super cool.
So for this little guy, little door hanger, I'm just using some 3M adhesive double-sided stick-on mounting tape. This stuff is super good, very effective. The only trick is trying to peel off the little bit of non-adhesive protectant that's on there. It's quite tricky and a little bit frustrating sometimes. That's when you pull out the big gun right there, right? All right, let's see if I can just stick this on. I don't want to drill it on because that just seems kind of overkill. Pretty much most of the things on my door are just stuck on here with that 3M adhesive stuff. All right, that seems good for now use that as a trial method if uh, the adhesive for some reason gets weird i can always drill it in there later i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to put these little license plate pieces but i'm not going to put them up right now i'm going to give that some time i'm going to let it kind of linger in my brain spend some time here in the van and see what works for me because while there's a lot of places I could put it, like on my back door, different places where I may not see it, I buy decorations to be seen by me because they make me feel happy, make me feel nice and good about life. I'm back here at my parents' house, familiar surroundings, and a dark, dark hallway. But in here, the spare bedroom. I found a little package waiting for me here. It's not from Amazon. Don't fool yourself. Fooled me for half a second. I was like, what did I order from Amazon? I can't remember anything, especially nothing in this size box. I did order something from Amazon that's coming pretty soon in a box that will not fit 
in this frame. It's so big. But that's something else for another day. What was in this box? Nicely packaged. <laughs> well, I know. This is probably about the last I'm going to talk about it because you're probably sick about hearing about it, but guess who's back? Mavic Mini. Uh, awesome gentleman by the name of Rick Everett, a hiker, apparently an outdoor enthusiast, was climbing up somewhere there at Red Rocks and managed to spot this little guy just sitting on a ledge and got a hold of me. I'm still not entirely certain on how he deduced how to get a hold of me on my YouTube channel. I don't know if he was somebody that was following beforehand or not, um, which would be even crazier. But regardless, this seems to be the only damage, just a little damage to the prop right here. And, well, replacement props cost almost nothing. These things, little plastic doodads. Funny thing is, I have not seen this in months, and I've been using my Mavic 2 Zoom, and that thing is gigantic in comparison. This thing looks and feels like a little baby's toy. And, well, it kind of is. But it also isn't. This really is a powerhouse of a drone. Now, it doesn't have all the safety features, all the super dee doo da bells and whistles, but it is super effective and handy. And I can't wait to get it back in my arsenal because every once in a while you just want to pull up somewhere and stick your hand out the window and say, Goodbye, drone. Give me a view of what's around me without me making a nuisance of me getting out of the vehicle, having this big old drone. Well, this little guy goes, meow. You don't even know he's there half the time. You could be looking around and you wouldn't see it because it's gray and it blends in with the sky. Anyways, I am super stoked to have my original drone, my entry-level drone that my dad bought me for Christmas two years back. Super cool that this came back. Rick, thank you so much. I know you said you don't want anything in return. I mean, like, I swore I just read the email, like, yesterday morning, and this shows up already. So, <laughs> I can't express my gratitude any more than saying... If we ever meet up, IRL, as they say in real life, dinner's on me. What a beautiful day it is out today. Man, look at this. Blue skies, the sun is out, trees are in bloom, the van is ready to travel. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be traveling much for the next couple of days. I'm watching the parents' house starting tomorrow watching buster the brown dog you know mr lovey wubby dog and my aunts and uncles a couple of them are coming out with my parents gonna take a trip up to yosemite and i can't wait to hear a report from them on how it is what's going on what's different what's open what's not because it's forever changing constantly on like a daily almost hourly basis and it's super hard to find out like looking online especially <laughs> today's world like it changes so fast that the the websites can't update um in time if you're going there tomorrow and you look at the website today who knows so i got about three days here with buster the brown dog what am i doing over that time well i don't know but i do know one thing i mentioned before i ordered a gigantic box from amazon and it's gonna be going to use on the van here make things a little bit easier with storage and whatnot probably figure out what that is but I'm not gonna say right now because that'll ruin the fun of discovery yeah.